How goes it, YouTube? It's Minecraft Go here today. Um, I'll be showing you how to use World Painter, uh, which is this really cool application that allows you to create worlds uh, for Minecraft. And there's a wide variety of things you can do with it. And this tutorial is for Mac or for PC or Windows, uh, Linux. It, it works for anything. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can download all this stuff. Uh, so, yes, so let's get started. Just open up World Painter. It's going to take a bit. It's not. I don't think it's too RAM intensive, it just takes a bit to open. So we're just gonna wait until it opens. Any day now. Any day. Hmm. I'll just come back when it's loaded. Alright, well, it is loaded, and let's get started. So it's going to generate this world. Uh, this is the, uh, the default world. I believe it is um, 128, or 5 far render, 5 far, dis 5 nor, no, 5 normal rendering distances um, in length and width. And it's 256 high, or 255 high, actually. And, uh, hmm, so basically you can just pretty much edit around with terrain. Go high, uh, there's, we can go high, low, um, fill with, like, certain stuff, flatten to a certain height, smooth and all that. Um, but so we're just going to start a new map, or a new world. I'm going to go file, new world, click no, just call it whatever you want, I'll just call it build. And the dimensions is 5 times 5 and each child is 128 by 128 blocks. So there you go. Height, make whatever you want. and for the topography, you can make it hilly or flat. I'll just be using hilly. And uh, I think we should make an island. So I want the level. This le this level here means the level of land. I'm just going to make that. Let's make it 20. And the water level, let's make it like 40. Put beaches on. And you can change the surface material here, which is basically going to show. Let's just, uh, let's just keep it grass. Uh, uh, biomes, uh, just put automatic biomes and custom biomes. If doesn't really matter. So now we have some islands. And now if we go to uh, view, show 3D view, it will uh, show us a 3D view of what we can see, which is very useful. So now I'm going to use this smooth tool right here. And I'm going to smooth all these. Uh, actually, no, sorry. The lowering. The, um, what is this tool called? The height. I'm just going to lower all these. And I'm going to suck my brush to this. Make the intensity 100%. And get all these little islands. Alright. A bit more there. And uh, actually, now I'm going to go around and see. There's, you can still see some of the islands here. So I'm going to go around and make sure all those. Uh, where, is, where is this one? Right there? No, right there. Just make sure everything gets down so you don't see it through the water. And yep, you can't see yep, you can't see anything through the water. Now I'm gonna get the smoothing tool. Let's get this brush. Just smooth everything out. It's gonna be a bit laggy. Because you are this is pretty large. Yep, so can't see anything. Now we're gonna make an island. So we're gonna get the raise tool. Let's select the this one. This is gonna be one of your most used brushes, because any of these if you have hard you want some you generally don't want to do hard edges unless it's uh unless you're actually need it or just flattening things out so I'm gonna use this it's um uh, and now I'm just gonna make a pick and I'm, I'm also using the height tool I'm just gonna uh, draw a little island out here okay pretty cool now we're gonna go around the edges and get some like that You notice that it um, is dark. That's going to signify height. And you can see it from over there. So let's get the smooth tool. And a bit more. We'll get the harder edge. And that should look okay so far. Let's get some more height going on. Let's make it a bigger island, I guess. So like that. And actually, no. I'm going to lower. And you can right click and left click with tools as well and I'm right clicking here and now I'm gonna smooth everything out just get that alright cool 
Now I'm going to go back to the height tool, select this brush, bring the intensity down to about 75% or maybe that's 60, 70, 65, somewhere around there. Just start picking up some of the terrain in the middle. All right, looking good so far. And I think that'll be good. Now I'm, I'm actually increase this and raise it and train a lot up in the middle. Make it kind of like a volcano and then get a, a smooth for everything. Now go back to this, change the intensity down a bit and I think that'll be good. Looks pretty natural. But you know, it still seems a bit circular. Um, I mean, that's how you see volcanoes in Hollywood, but it's not really how it is in the real world. So I'm gonna get the this up tool intensity, bring it 100%. Let's just get like a pier going over here. Not a pier, whatever you call it. This is landform, like that. Doesn't look too nice, so it's gonna give it some nice smoothing. And that looks a lot better. And now I'm actually gonna flatten area by using this flatten tool and select. What uh, let me and to zoom in you do control zoom and to make adjust brush size you just use a mouse wheel. So I want to just flatten right here. So I'll make it the same height as the ocean because we're gonna do something pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, that'll be enough. Now just get a uh, increase the intense intensity or uh, the brush size. Oops, click this. Like that. Less and burst, uh, less focus. 